Danny, another great round from you and a fantastic finish, three birdies in a row to get yourself into contention. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a strange old golf course, obviously the weather was pretty cold this morning, a bit windy, so through the day you're obviously changing your percentages and trying to get things right and we, we weren't quite getting things quite spot on, obviously small green round in, you don't want to put yourself in too much trouble, so play pretty sensible and yeah, just a nice roll three in at the end there and, uh, and kind of go from real mid-pack to, to yeah, being right up there. But just a drop shot each day so far, that must be particularly pleasing on here where it's easy to lose shots without really playing badly. Yeah, and again, I think, you know, me and Sam have worked the numbers out well and we've, most of the time, unless it's been a real spot on number, we've obviously been the cautious side of um, of the flags. Um, and yeah, just played it sensible. I've played this golf tournament now, what, seven times, eight times? I've had some really good finishes. Obviously, one round in 2015, I had some other really good finishes. So I like the look of the golf course is set up and I think you just take it as a a pretty chilled week in terms of you know the setting and where it is and, and actually taking everything in and um, yeah seem to come out and, in, and enjoy it. In terms of the mental side of it when you've won on a golf course how much does that help you when you come back here I know it obviously the last couple of years but you, you clearly have that experience is still fresh in the mind. Yeah you still obviously they've, they've tried tinkering with the golf course a little bit um, 
new green and bunkering on, on, on six this year and obviously a new green, couple of new greens over the last few years on, on 11 and, and 13 as well. So they're trying to change the golf course so it's not always the same place year in, year out. But um, yeah, getting familiar with, with the altitude and how that plays and how it changes through the day from a morning, afternoon, tea time. I think experience around this golf course um, plays a massive part of it. So um, yeah, just nice to be back playing the green again. Just finally, you're just on seven, lining up a putt, and Nicholas Colsart's tee shot comes rolling onto the green. What was going through your mind then? No, <laughs> we said we had a pretty good one down there, and we just left, and we were saying, nah, no, you can't really. You struggle to get it up and over and right enough today with how the trees are. And yeah, yeah, Nick, Nick kind of clips a tree, pitched it around the middle of the green. In fairness, it was a little more pace, a little more pace, and it would have had a good chance of going in. Um, but yeah, again, but again, you know, you take it with a smile because it is. It's, it's one of them golf courses. I think it's good for spectators. It's good fun, and you see a lot of birdies. Um, when, when the weather's pretty good and, uh, and that's why people come out and watch. Have a great weekend.